Well, welcome back to the channel. Today, I have a very exciting video for you. This is the It Girls Guide to Fall Shoe Trends. And before I start, I just have to say a huge thank you to everyone that's been tuning into my channel. The growth that I've had in the past 30 days has been crazy. <laughs> Like I posted my closet video and I think it has like seven and a half thousand views right now, which is like crazy. My videos are usually getting like 200 views. And then I feel like that really catapulted all my videos out there. I just really appreciate it because yesterday, as of yesterday, I am monetized on YouTube. So I'm actually making money. And even though it's probably gonna be like 20 bucks a month, I am so, so grateful. I've been making videos for as long as I can remember. And it was my New Year's resolution this year to get monetized on YouTube. So it's never lost on me. I really appreciate it. And hopefully, you know, we can grow this channel to a point where I can do this full time because isn't that like the goal? That's the dream, right? Is to quit your job and do YouTube full time. So I just had to say thank you because dreams came true <laughs> yesterday. So let's get into it. The It Girls Guide for Fall Shoe Trends. And the first thing I have to say before we even get started is that everyone is an it girl. There is no criteria to be an it girl other than being a human. Everyone's an it girl, okay? If you don't own these shoes, if you don't like these shoes, you're still an it girl. It girls are the main character. You are your own main character. It girl is an energy. And I feel like the it girl used to be kind of synonymous with mean girl. That's not what I'm talking about. It girl is the cool, nice girl, confident in herself. Is that making sense? That's what I mean when I say it girl. So I have 10 pairs of shoes. They're really not in any specific order. I'll just start with the first one. So the first pair is a pair that I bought and this is the Nike V. V2K. I have always wanted like a chunky sneaker, kind of like New Balance. I feel like that was the first one we saw. What is it? The V5. You know what I'm talking about. I'll put a picture here. You know what I'm talking about. This shoe, I've always wanted something kind of like this shoe, but it just didn't really feel like me. There was something about it that I just couldn't fully commit to. And so I've been searching for a chunky sneaker for like probably two years now. And when I saw this one on the Nike website, they weren't live yet and they weren't a pre-order. They were like dropping. And so I literally put in my email to like get a notification when they were dropping because I feel like these are perfect. What I love about these is the sole is so chunky, but you have kind of a more pointed toe silhouette. And I love the coloring on this. I love that the sole is kind of like that gummy color sole, kind of a yellow, like worn in vintage look. And then I really love the metallic detailing. Metallic we've seen trending for fall big time. I am such a huge fan. I love metallic. I have a metallic pair of ballet flats that I wear all the time. And so that felt really me, like this shoe, everything about it, I just felt like it would go great with my style and I have been loving it. Number one, it's so comfy. I work retail, so I'm literally on my feet all day. <laughs> like I need comfy shoes. I was wearing my Reebok Club C vintage, but they are so flat that they were really hurting my feet. I feel like the shoes kind of like push me to try a little bit more daring outfits. They just feel so fashion forward that I, I really, really pay attention to how I'm getting dressed. So cute, super functional. I actually don't know if they're still in so stock because they sold out pretty fast, but they might be on like Foot Locker or I'm sure they'll drop it again or maybe like in store or something. So the second shoe is something that's been on my wish list forever. Freaking love these. This is the Ghani Buckle Ballerina Naplac. Is that how you say it? I don't know. That's just what was on the website. <laughs> what I love about this is there's this really nice juxtaposition of femininity femininity, Western wear, and also like grunge at the same time. Like they're so badass while also being extremely feminine. Stunning. These are pricey though, so I don't own these, but I would love to own them. I put a picture of the black ones and I put a picture of the hot red ones. They also came out with a burgundy pair, which I think would be stunning for fall. Like absolutely stunning. I know they're sold out everywhere. I think personally, I would probably buy the hot red just because hot red is my favorite color to wear. I feel so good in it. I like always have red Nails, so uh, it would just kind of match the vibe I've got going on. I have a lot of red clothes. The burgundy is super cute, but I just know that I wouldn't wear them as much. And of course the black is a good staple, but I almost feel like the black looks a little too... I guess the black just isn't statement enough. Like this is such a statement show. Shoe that I feel like I would just have to go for the red to make it even more 
of a piece like that picture of the girl in the lounge chair it's a pretty basic outfit that she's wearing it's white pants white jacket little bralette but it's the shoes that really pop and it, it that's what your your eye is drawn to is the bright shoes and so I just think these are stunning they also have a really good structure to them they look like that really good thick leather that's not gonna scuff easily I also love that they're sling back because I don't like wearing mule slides almost like a texture thing for me whenever I wear a mule slide my feet like I feel like like I don't know how to explain it I'm like eh, like I hate it but if I have a sling back I'm totally fine so love that they have that little sling back obsessed these are definitely the it girl shoe right now but they are so pricey probably like three something best believe if I had that kind of money I would own these so the next shoe I don't really have a specific shoe this is just the mesh ballet flat and I think this is kind of a controversial one I know that these don't look like the Margiela tabby shoes however I think they're kind of controversial in that same way by you you either love them or you're freaked out by them and you think they're gross I love the tabby shoes personally I don't really like the tabby boots those feel a little too horse hoof to me but what I do love is the tabby ballet flats the tabby ballet flats with a little pump on them I think those are so pretty and that's how I kind of feel about these I'm like ah, part of me is unsure but part of me also loves it also though I don't feel like this is a great fall trend like I just can't imagine having my toes out like that during fall you know like it's gonna get colder having a mesh flat seems best in the summer so I like it it's a little off-putting but I get it I also think it'd be cute to wear with socks and like to be to see your sock through it. My favorite is the pair on the right. I feel like those are the most, those are giving me the least amount of ick <laughs> because they have that buckle and they just feel more enclosed. I feel, I, I wish that the, like the bottom lipped up a little bit just to protect your toes a little bit. But really when you think about it, it's the same kind of concept as a, as a sandal. Your foot is just like out there, it's not. So I love these and that's why I put them on here because I do think this is gonna, this is a very it girl thing to have, right? This is a very fashion forward thing to wear. I always talk about the Midwest, but that's just where I'm from. And that's where I grew up, where people just aren't in tune with, you know, this kind of stuff. So somebody wore like a pair of these in the Midwest. I feel like people would look at you so oddly and it would be so strange, but in, you know, somewhere like New York City, LA, London, it makes them a lot more sense. The other reason I'm hesitant for fall is because like in New York, it's been raining a ton and you're not gonna wear these in the rain. Imagine having a soggy foot in a mesh ballet flat. That makes me want to die. A very it girl, very cute, but it's only good for those hot fall days. I'm interested to see how fall Far this trend will last like I, I'm really interested in seeing the longevity of this because it's just so unique the next shoe is the Cezanne Paula babies literally so iconic I feel like they had these in, in red but I can't remember but I really love this one in the middle I love all three but I feel like if I were to buy a pair I would buy the one in the middle it's that Chanel black cap toe I've been seeing that everywhere my mom just bought a pair of like coach heels that have that black toe super cute I mean it's coming back in a really big way I think this is just a very classic silhouettes, very classic style, very classic colors. We're kind of playing on that old money, quiet luxury kind of feel. What I've been loving in fashion is that we're really turning back to not the basics, but more classy clothes, I guess. I feel like that sometimes has a, like a negative connotation, like, oh, you should dress classy. Otherwise you're like, you look trashy. That's not what I mean. You know, whatever you want to wear, I love that for you. But me personally, I enjoy these more like feminine cuts that are more modest, more classy. And it's just great when that trends because then you have more access to it it's easier to find kind of the clothes that you want to wear and these are just so stunning I wonder if they're comfortable they look comfy usually these like lower block heels are really comfortable again a sling back which we love I love these two little buttons I think that's just so adorable it's got this kind of Mary Jane look these would look so cute with tights and a little mini skirt just super stunning I don't have anything from Cezanne but it's like a dream brand <laughs> it's just so gorgeous everything they make is so gorgeous I hope I pronounce this right Right. Onitsuka Tiger Mexico 66. What a name for a shoe. Could we not make it any more complicated? These I've been seeing everywhere. I've been seeing these bright yellow ones a lot, which I like. I think that's a fun pop of color. On this picture where it's styled, I, I think it looks good. Like with the trench coat, it weirdly has kind of the pull of a classic color like red. It looks good. It doesn't look off-putting. What I'm more excited about is of course the metallic on the left, that good metallic. They also come in gold, which 
which I love. These are sold out everywhere, at least in my size. I think they only have larger sizes, like maybe an 11 or above. I've been trying to find a tennis shoe like this that is more slim and that looks good with more dressy things. And I think this really kind of fits in that category because like I said, with my Reeboks, first of all, they're so old, so they look disgusting. Like I cannot wear them with nicer clothes. And also there's something about the little air holes on the, the toe part, you know what I mean? Those little dots. I feel like that just makes it look a lot more casual and it's it's so been so hard to find a shoe that doesn't have those that is more of a slim fit with a good structure to it and I love these I think they're really pretty they almost kind of look like bowling shoes which I love I just think this is a good option if you still want to wear something like a tennis shoe but you just want it to be elevated you know it's got that little kick of fashion in there with the metallic even the bright yellow I feel like um, a lot of us have like monochrome kind of outfits especially for fall and winter I feel like I go very boring with color that these yellow would be like such a cool pop of color and I feel like very unlikely for the season you know like to see a yellow that feels very spring it feels very summer so I kind of like this idea of playing with these brights during like an off season definitely a shoe to keep in mind I think they're stunning y'all this next pair of shoes I have been lusting over for like over a year and I finally got them okay like there are reddit threads about how to get this shoe it is so coveted and that is the adidas glow pink platform gazelle shoe. I actually wore those shoes a couple nights ago. My husband and I went and saw John Mayer live at Madison Square. I wore this top with a cute pair of jeans and I wore these shoes and it looked so cute. It was like this really, again, the same thing with the yellow pair. It's like this bright hot pink pop of color. And I randomly just Googled pictures of them to put on this list and they were in stock on Foot Locker. So if you've been looking for these shoes, maybe check out Foot Locker. What a random wild card they had. They were in stock in like every single size. They might be sold out now scalpers are literally selling these shoes for like $300 it's crazy and so I was so excited to get a pair I will say they aren't the most comfortable I think I'm gonna have to just break them in a little bit and it might be the platform that I'm just not used to they are also very squeaky like every step I take it's like meh, meh, meh. <laughs> so I hope with more wear that cushion will just get like put into place a little bit and it won't be as squeaky because that's my only qualm with them at the moment. Again, like I said, my winter and fall wardrobe is pretty bland. So this will be kind of exciting to spice it up a bit. I just love how feminine they are. And I also love that, you know, the Samba is really trendy right now. This just feels a little bit more unique. I was kind of getting a little sick of seeing the Sambas everywhere because it's just like copy and paste of the same shoe. There's nothing wrong with the Sambas. It just, they just kind of blend into every outfit I see. They don't like stand out it's nothing like new to get something so hot pink and it's a platform it's just a little bit different so we've got that like it's super trendy you know the samba silhouette these are technically gazelles i think the only difference is they just don't have a notch on the toe like the sambas do but yeah we get to follow this like super trendy shoe but just kind of in a more unique way with a pop of color which i love the next thing on our list is biker boots this is one that i don't love for me but i love for you it's kind of hard because I want a pair of riding boots, but every riding boot that I see is a biker boot with that little circle harness kind of strap. I love the silhouette. I love how practical it is. I love how people are styling it with really feminine pieces and then kind of edging it up. You know, same with the Ghani buckle shoes. It's kind of this more just edgy style. Like in this reference picture on the left, she literally has a Mew Mew bag, but then biker boots, you know, they're also probably the most practical shoe on this list. You're going to be super warm. Your feet are not going to get with if there's a puddle. They just don't have a place in my wardrobe, but I just wanted to include them because I've been seeing them literally everywhere. I feel like fashion week, that's what I saw in everybody, like little, little kind of like mini dresses almost with biker boots. I haven't seen a ton of people wear them with pants actually, surprisingly. It's always with a skirt, like my two pictures here, both skirts slash dresses. So I think it's kind of a trend to leave that bare leg and then have that like stark boot at the bottom. I also think this would be great to do kind of like a vintage jean, like a Princess Diana kind of baggy jean tucked into the Boots, that would be super cute. Yeah, like I said, I'm more of like a riding boot kind of person. It's definitely an it girl shoe. I mean, I've just been seeing this everywhere, so I wanted to include it, but not for me, but maybe for you. Okay, the next I have loafers, and look, of course, loafers are trending every fall season. It's just such a staple shoe that's always gonna be around, but I put specifically Mary Jane loafers. I think we can kind of see a trend with the shoes that I've shown. It's like that Mary Jane buckle strap is so trendy. And we've got a picture of the one, the only, the queen Taylor Swift, who was seen out in New York City 
This was a couple months ago. She's wearing these cool, cool, cool Mary Jane loafers. They're by GH Bass and they're in this great leather color. It's almost like a caramel color. It's got weaving on the tongue and then that uh, really nice buckle. And then on the left here, I've included a pair of black loafers. They don't have that weaving. They're more of that patent leather, but they still have that buckle. I am predicting that these are gonna be everywhere because loafers in the traditional sense are either flat with like no detailing on the tongue or anything, or they have a, what is it called? A horse bit. That's what it's called when it's like the little, you know, the gold things with the bar. So we either say plain loafers or horse bit loafers. And these are kind of a nice mix up from like the average loafer. They've got, you know, more textures, more, more unique kind of look. I also feel like this style of Mary Jane's with the buckle, it's easier to wear socks with them, easier to wear tights. I feel like there's a lot of good layering opportunities with these shoes. Both pairs are from GH Bass. They're about like 180 to 200, but I know that the quality of GH Bass loafers are gonna last you forever. So if you are gonna go for a loafer trend, I would suggest saving up and investing in a loafer because all the loafers that you're gonna get from like H&M are gonna fall apart within the year. These will literally last you like 20 years and that's why I included those. I just think these are a really good daily for the fall when you want to look a little bit put together but still comfortable, especially the ones on the right. They have that thick lug sole and I feel like that just gives you so much support. You're like not worried about how delicate your shoes are. Like, you know, these are gonna last, <laughs> you know, these are gonna like make it through you walking around everywhere. I am dying for a pair of loafers. I am heavily considering the pair on the left. I think they're super cute. They are definitely like more masculine than I usually am I like attracted to, but I also, like I said, kind of like the Nike shoes that I talked about. I kind of like having that challenge. It kind of pushes me out of my comfort zone a little bit. And it's a small detail like shoes. With shoes, I feel like I can go a little more masculine because tops are, my tops are usually so feminine. And then the shoes just kind of balance it out a little bit. Super excited to see more Mary Jane loafers. Okay, the next one is the sporty ballet flat, AKA what I wore every day in middle school and elementary school. It's like those Skechers shoes with the crisscross straps. And what's crazy is that everybody who's making these like brand new are selling them for like $200, $500. When I know this shit was selling for 30 bucks at a Kmart, you know? And the resellers are crazy. They're selling like vintage vintage sketchers for like $55 on Poshmark, ludicrous. But I totally get the appe appeal. We're in this era of comfortable clothing, comfortable shoes. I put this on here because I've been, I've been seeing them everywhere. I've been seeing people um, talk about this as uh, like it's on their thrift wish list. I definitely think this is something that's way more popular with like Gen Z and more Y2K kind of TikTok style fashion. So I'm also interested to kind of track the longevity of this because I, I'm very intrigued by how people are gonna style this. And there's a lot of good potential for sock layering here. There's a lot of good potential for a ruffle sock. You could sell me on this with a little ruffle sock. The only people that I see really making these right now, like I said, are designers. They're gonna be pretty expensive. And so I think within the, the next couple months, we'll be able to see more affordable brands start to push this out. I think if you're gonna do this trend, thrift it. When I was in Wisconsin, I saw a couple pairs of these for like $7. So it's definitely doable to thrift these. We don't need to bring this back into the world brand new again. Even though it's not for me, I had to include it because like I said, this is a guide for the it girl. It girl is everyone. So it's not just what I like or what I find um, super appealing. And the last one I have on here is also another Mary Jane. These are specifically red Mary Jane flats. I know the Cezanne ones had a little bit of a heel. I'm talking about a flat one and I'm talking about red. Literally very, very specific. I think the picture that I have of this girl in Paris, she has a little bit of a heel, but I couldn't find many pictures styled that are flat. But this one on the right here is exactly what I'm talking about. A flat shoe, something that's super comfortable. I love ballet flats. I love that the ballet flat is trending and this feels a little bit more, just a little bit more upscale than a typical ballet flat. I think ballet flats can sometimes look boring if they don't have this kind of like cool element to them, either a flower or a cool pattern or like a cool detail like the mesh or a buckle, like the gani. I feel like they just need an element. They just can't be like plain Jane, round toe, flat ballet flats to really be considered like a trend or I guess to be like more fashion forward. I think they usually have some some kind of element. We've heard of like pop of red is trending for fall, which is great news for me. I absolutely love red. And I think this ballet flat, like a flat shoe, just makes it so easy to incorporate into your life. This is also a really good shoe for that transition period. Even though it's October, it's still hot as heck. So I think we're gonna see a lot of these kinds of shoes as this transition between the colder and warmer weather. I just love that these are back in style. I think they're so cute. They have a little bit of a vintage flair, you know, a little bit, a little bit of a vintage 
aspect there. I love that this girl is wearing it with a red top. I feel like that's really fun to match the pops of red. Also, again, that monochrome outfit, the red is gonna stand out. And that's all I have. Those are the 10 shoes that I think are going to be super trendy for fall. We're gonna see them everywhere, especially in street style. I feel like these are gonna be all over the Pinterest boards. I think the ones that I'm most excited for, I would have to say, well, the Nikes, of course, because I already own those, as well as the Glow Pink, I already own those. Ghani's at the top of my list, and probably the Red Mary Janes. If I had to just pick a few that are really strong and stand out to me. And then the only ones that I don't love for myself, but I love for, you know, just the season and seeing how other people style them would be the Sporty Ballet Flat, the Biker Boot, and the Mesh Ballet Flat. Like, I'd rather just save my money for something else. So that was everything. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if I miss any shoes that you've been kind of seeing pop around, something that you're inspired by. What are you wearing this fall? And just one more thank you for being here, watching my videos, helping me get monetized. Literally a dream come true. I'm on like cloud nine right now. I'm so happy. I'm so grateful. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like so appreciate it. You don't even know. <laughs> so give this a like, subscribe down below if you like all things um, style, personal style, trends, thrifting, fashion. If that is all content that you like, this is definitely the place for you. But that's it for me and I will see you in my next one.